Hello, and welcome to the second part of the Getting Started Guide for GEMS Offshore Pile Foundation software developed by Geotechnical Engineering Modeling Software, GEMS. Piles are used to provide foundation support to wide ranging structures such as buildings, bridges, wharves, jetties, towers, and offshore structures such as oil platforms and offshore wind turbines. The GEMS Offshore Pile Foundation Analysis Software is a specialized software for analyzing pile foundations for offshore structures. Our other offering, GEMS Comprehensive Pile Foundation Analysis Software, caters to piles for land-based and waterfront structures. The software includes modules for pile capacity estimation, axial load analysis, and lateral load analysis. Various common procedures for analysis used in practice are included in the package. Subscribe to this YouTube channel to stay appraised of our upcoming videos, products, and tutorials. The software is available for a 30-day trial download from our website for Windows and Macs. One can also try the online cloud version for 30 days from our website using a browser. If you haven't installed a copy yet or signed up for a cloud account, this may be a good time to do so. Visit our website https colon slash slash www.gemsoftware.org. This is a two-part video. In the first part, we had an overview of the application, defined pile dimensions, properties, and soil parameters, and estimated the capacity of the pile. In the second part, we will apply axial and lateral loads and perform axial and lateral load analysis of the same pile. We will start from where we left off in the part one video. In this video, we will perform axial load analysis and lateral load analysis of an offshore pile 20 meters in length, 1 meter in diameter. The pile is a hollow steel pile with three different segments, each having a different thickness as shown in the table. In part one of the video, we had estimated the capacity of the pile to be 4,375 kilonewton. We will try two loading scenarios, load case 1, axial load of 1000 kN, lateral load of 100 kN, and load case 2, axial load of 2000 kN and a lateral load of 200 kN. The soil consists of three layers, soft clay 10 meters thick, stiff clay 5 meters thick, and a sand layer 10 meters thick. We will use some typical soil properties shown here for each layer for the sake of this demo. These would normally come from the soil investigation report. We will use API 2011 as the method for axial and lateral analysis for each of the soil layers. Let's start again with the project properties pane. We will edit the description to add details for the loading scenarios for our record. Select the axially loaded pile analysis and laterally loaded pile analysis checkboxes. Set the number of load cases to two as we are evaluating two loading scenarios. Click on the input parameters pane. We had set the pile dimensions earlier. Since the pile supports a superstructure, the pile head is not free to rotate. In the Pile Properties tab, Pile Head Boundary Condition, select Rotation and enter the value 0 in front of it. Click on Soil Properties tab 
soil layers sub tab. We will review and update the soil properties again since we have enabled axial and lateral analysis. Some additional parameters may be required. First layer, soft clay. We had said that TZ and QZ, the analysis method for pile capacity estimation and axial load analysis as API 2011. We will keep the PY code, the analysis method used for lateral load analysis as API 2011. We had set the cohesion on the top and cohesion at the bottom as part of the pile capacity estimation and we'll leave J constant as 0 0.5, epsilon 50 as 0 0.01 and R factor as 0 0.9. Stiff clay. We had set the TZ and QZ code the analysis method used for pile capacity estimation and axial load analysis as API 2011. We will keep the PY code, the analysis method used for lateral load analysis as API 2011. We had set the cohesion on top and cohesion at bottom as part of the pile capacity estimation and we'll leave J constant as 0 0.5, epsilon 50 as 0 0.02, and R factor as 0 0.9. Sand layer. We had set the TZ and QZ code as API 2011. We will keep the PY code also as API 2011. Set the friction angle phi used for lateral analysis as 30 degrees. Finally, click on the load cases tab. You will see two sub tabs on the right hand side, load case one, load case two, which have been added. We will enter the load case data in the respective tabs. Load case one, load case description, axial load of 1000 kilonewton, lateral load of 100 kilonewton. You can choose to include self-fade in the axial analysis if you wish by clicking on this checkbox. We'll set the axial load as 1000 kilonewton and lateral load of 100 kilonewton. Since our pile head is not free to rotate, we will not prescribe a lateral moment. The bending moment at the pile head will be calculated by the program. Our loading type will be static loading. You will see the loading diagram has been updated with the details we have entered. Let's sim similarly put the data for load case two. Load case description, axial load of 2000 kilonewton, lateral load of 200 kilonewton. Laxial load 2000 kilonewton, lateral load 200 kilonewton. Set the loading type as cyclic loading for this demo. Let us see if our inputs are valid and there are no errors in them. From the menu bar, click on Compute, Validate. We see that our inputs are valid. We have entered all the required information for getting our pile capacity axially loaded pile analysis and laterally loaded pile analysis. Now let's click compute, compute. We get notifications indicating successful completion of the analysis. Click on the axially loaded pile analysis pane to view the results of the axial analysis. The pile displacement table details the pile head displacement, pile base displacement, and status of the execution for each of the load case along with the axial load applied. OK indicates that our analysis completed properly without errors. The corresponding pile head displacement graph plots the vertical displacement of the pile head for each of the loads applied. Similarly, 
the corresponding pile base displacement diagram plots the vertical displacement of the pile base for each of the loads applied. We see that for the 1000 kN load, the pile head displaces by 2.65 mm and for the 2000 kN load, the pile head displaces by 7.23 mm. The axial force table contains the axial force experienced by the pile at various steps for each of the load case. Each column in this table represents a separate load case. The corresponding axial force diagram plots the axial forces experienced by the pile along its length for various loads. The axial stress table contains the axial stress experienced by the pile at various depths. Each column in this represents a separate load case, load case 1 and load case 2. The corresponding axial stress diagram plots the axial stress experienced by the pile along its length for various loads. Each curve represents a load case. The axial displacement table contains the pile displacement at various steps. Each column again in this table represents a separate load case. The first row represents the pile head displacement while the last row represents the pile base displacement. Axial displacement diagram plots the axial displacement of the pile along its length for various loads. Again, each curve represents a load case. One can also perform just the axial load analysis by clicking on the compute axial analysis at the top of this pane. Click on the laterally loaded pile analysis pane to view the results of the lateral analysis. Laterally loaded pile analysis pane consists of multiple load case tabs displaying the analysis for the corresponding load cases. Each load case analysis tab consists of tables and graphs tabulating the analysis results for the load case. The summary table tabulates the absolute maximum values of lateral deflection, bending moment, shear force, and soil pressure and the depths at which they occur. For the first load case, we have a maximum lateral deflection of 3.7 mm, bending moment of 523 kN m, shear force of 100 kN at the pile head, and a maximum soil pressure of 19.6 kN per meter at a depth of 10.57 meters. Next, we have the displacement, slope, and pressure table, which contains the lateral displacement, slope, and soil pressure experienced by the pile at various steps. The shear bending moment table contains the shear forces and bending moment experienced by the pile at various steps. Each point represents a node in the finite element analysis. Lateral pile analysis diagram plots the contents of the analysis tables. Lateral deflection diagram plots the horizontal deflection of the pile at various steps. Shear force diagram plots the shear force along the length of the pile. Bending moment graph plots the bending moment experienced by the pile at various depths. And soil pressure diagram plots the soil pressure along the length of the pile. Similarly, we have the results for the second load case. One can also perform just the lateral load analysis by clicking on Compute Lateral Analysis at the top of this pane. The results can be copied by right-clicking on the table, select all and copy. The graphs can be copied by right-clicking on the graph and selecting copy and pasted outside in your desired application. 
one can then export the analysis results to Excel and Word if required. File, Export to Excel. And File, Export to Word. As you can see, the application is intuitive, versatile, and very easy to use. To summarize, in this video, we enabled axial and lateral analysis in Project Pin, reviewed and updated the pile dimensions, properties, and soil properties, added two loading scenarios, computed the deformation of the pile under axial loads and deflection of the pile under lateral loads. If you have queries, please email us at support at gemsoftware.org. Also, do like this video if you found it informative. Subscribe to this YouTube channel to stay appraised of our upcoming videos and products and share this video with your colleagues. Thank you for watching.